Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to MKT Unplugged. I'm David. And I'm Nam. Since today is our first show on ABAC channel, so you might be wondering what MKT Unplugged is all about. Our first show will be fe first feature What's Up with Marketing, discussing the latest in marketing and business world. And then we'll go to a section called Follow Me. Then we'll be bringing you the hottest trend from around the world. Exactly, Nan. And in addition to those, we'll also be interviewing renowned special guests about their success stories, learn their perspective, and perhaps even get some tips for business and marketing in general. And today's special guest will be having an exciting talk with Kunmin, the owner of Bag and Shoe Spa Momoko. The session is a bit later on, so stick around, you guys. Okay, so after the break, we'll be back with What's Up with Marketing. See you in a bit. Hello and welcome back. Here we we'll look at the coolest, latest news to hit the marketing world, which can help you make some serious money. So, what are you waiting for? Let's find out. What's up? The first thing we want to check out is Google Goggles. So you think QR codes in an advertisement are cool? Who needs QR codes in an advertisement if you can simply take a photo of a brand logo a brand product, or even the brand advertisement instead. That's exactly what happens with Google Goggles. Use your Android or iPhone to take a picture of any product or brand, and Google can automatically come up with relevant search results on your phone. This relevant search result can, of course, include the website of your product. What's even better for marketers? Consumers can take a picture of your brand advertisement on a magazine, and then Google Goggles will automatically find a web page with even more information about that advertisement. So there's, there's no need for the customer to struggle with some ugly QR code on advertisement no more. They can take a picture of the advertisement itself. Right. Is it shocking? I dare you to try it yourself right now. Make sure you have the Google Goggles app on your Android or the Google search feature on iPhone or iPad and take a picture of any major brand logo. And then, see the Google results. You will be amazed. Oh, but too bad this application only works for Androids or iPhone. Yup, this does not work with any of the older model phones and operating systems. The next thing we want to check out is the ultra cool sale concept of now or never. We're all familiar with the concept of a quick sale with very limited time offer, such as the case of midnight sales at malls, or online super quick three-day sales online at Groupon or in Sogo. But what if the sales was even shorter than that? I mean like really, really shorter than that. For example, Moda Operandi allows its members only 48 hours to buy clothes right mm -hmm. after they've been featured on a runway fashion show. If you're a customer and you don't act immediately, you'll have to wait a full two months before the same designs are available in stores. Even more extreme, some companies such as Speed Sales have a sale of not three days, not one day, or not even half a day, but guess what? How um, long? No idea. Four. For what? Four hours? No, not four hours. For what? Four seconds. Four seconds? Shocking, right? Shocking. Oh, my God. Yep, that's right. Four seconds. As long as you log... Uh, or as soon as you log onto the site, you have only four seconds to act if you want to buy each product at super discounted prices. If you don't act within the four seconds, the discount is gone forever. How can you beat that for a marketing call to action? 
Okay, so that's all the time we have for today's marketing news on what's up with marketing. Now we move on to the latest marketing trends in our next portion, Follow Me. Wow, Ajahn David, I'm so excited. What do we have in Follow Me? Well, um, we have the latest marketing, tr uh, marketing trends. Are you, do you want to find out what they are? Of course. Well then, what are you waiting for? Come, follow me. <laughs> Hi and welcome back. Now when you talk about new marketing trends or new trends, you have to admit that much of it comes from the West and from a few Eastern hubs like Japan and South Korea. Now that's really fortunate for us here in Thailand because we can adapt the best from both worlds, so to speak. For example, I myself, I love Korean K-pop. Um, hello? Are you okay? So you really want to talk about trends and what's the latest trends and buzz going around. Forget about the mainstream media traditional brand name products of Going.com. Today it's all about ultra virtual marketing, on the spot fashion, rock star self expressionism, computing in the clouds, being in the, with the social media and much more. So let's take a look at 10 hottest trends of 2011. Brought to you by TrendHunter.com And at number one, discreet consumerism. Whether it's Starbucks disguising one of its chains as an indie espresso bar or Absolute going labelless, it's apparent that consumers are shying away from traditional brands and labels in favor of creativity and differentiation. To thrive in a more creative world, brands need to stop generic marketing and create experiences that are irresistible to a specific group of people. At 2 Tweetonomics. From hashtag powered sites to twittering shoes and social networking stockings, as long as Twitter continues to flourish, so will all the businesses smart enough to use social media for their own success. Sadly, most brands are on sites like Twitter, but not very skilled at playing the game. Be warned, this is the year that competitors will start using social media to steal away your best customer. At 8. Democratic Selling Years ago, businesses like Threadless were early pioneers of crowdsourced products. But today's crowdsourcing means democratic selling, where consumer votes, tweets, and Facebook likes are used to determine what a retailer should actually sell. The voice of the consumer has never been louder. At 9, toddler touchscreens. Interactive film apps, recordable storybooks, pillow technology, and interactive fairy tales. Using touchscreen platforms like the iPad and Android, developers are producing games and experiences that appeal to next generation parents and their tech savvy kids. At 11, tangible printing. From body armor to shoes and clothing, smaller businesses are using 3D printing to create fast, rapid prototypes and even sellable products. Fast turnaround and lowering costs are just a few advantage of this cutting edge technology. At 13, modern cubism. In a cluttered world, people seek refuge in simplified design, like cube lighting, square architecture, minimalist seating, and cubic technology. As the quest for visual clarity continues, modern cubism will expand beyond interior design to product design, branding, and even retail. At 14, real timing. Businesses are incorporating Foursquare, Twitter, and live streaming to provide participants with instant gratification. Social media has become the medium of choice by consumers who crave immediacy. At 17, wearable tech. Earring telephones, holographic wristwear, and visual hearing aids are all examples of how fashionable and geeky styles are converging into fashionably chic products. Now you can find out who's calling from your bracelet and even text people via your skivvies thanks to wearable tech. At 19, interactive retail. Interactive shopping bags, dinosaur themed malls, and iPad menus are all examples of how retail stores are differentiating in a social media savvy world. These brands have turned positive in-store experiences into loyal customer relationships. 20. Projected Publicity Marketers are turning to large-scale, low-cost, and ultra-viral mediums like these projected billboards. From Pac-Man projections to giant pinball displays, this form of advertising is grabbing attention. Thanks to Trend Hunter for that clip. But why K-pop isn't on that list, I have no idea. When we come back, We'll have a very special guest in Guest Who. Hello, 
hi, and hi. welcome back. Um, so earlier on in the show, uh, Nam and I promised you that we would later have a very special guest to talk about her very special business and to talk about her very special marketing tactics as well. And that special guest so happens to be, guess who? Kunmin. Kunmin. Hello, hi. Kunmin. Hi. 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 So, Kunmin. Um, Tell us about yourself first. Okay, uh, I graduated from ABAC. Yay! Okay, ABAC student from um, bachelor degree and master degree as well. Okay. Yeah, and I own the business Back and Choose Spa. It's named Back and Choose Spa by Momoko. We um, clean, we fix, and we redine the mm -hmm. Back and Choose um, for, for your brand name and designer. So, why yeah. did you choose the name Momoko? It sounds like Japanese chop, right? Yeah. Mm. the. The reason behind is because I want to make it sensing like more Japanese mm -hmm. because it's come with the high quality fashion, um, very neat and clean and all that. Yeah. I see. Okay, cool. Okay. So speaking of this, um, the first question I want to ask you is a bit strange. Well, we all are strange <laughs> because marketing people are strange. <laughs> okay. okay. And that is that what is the coolest thing about this biz that made you want to jump into it? Okay. Um, firstly, it's because uh, it's very new business. Mm -hmm. uh, no one ever done this before. Mm -hmm. So it's what uh, is that what you call blue ocean? Um, Something like we're that. Stay yeah. Away <laughs> from academic terms. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, it, it's new, so I can be a pioneer. Okay. And the advantage of being the pioneer is you can use the full coverage of media for free. Mm. Everyone get attention and want to know how it starts and um, how I set up the business, what it is about and all that. So, mm. yeah. So what's the funniest thing you face in doing this job? Uh, the funniest thing I met was um, when the customer came in mm -hmm. a lot per day, mm -hmm. like 20 or 30 persons. I couldn't remember them all. So what happened was uh, I start talking with one customer and ended up like for, for like half an hour and ended mm -hmm. up knowing that she's not the one I <laughs> I know. So Wrong one. Yeah, the yeah. wrong one. So that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> so what did she say? Uh, she said, uh, I think I've been here for the first time. And I was like, oh, oh okay, I'm sorry. I remember the wrong person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's a saying that for anyone to be successful in business, that you have to have a passion 